Good morning. So I'm off today and I have been asleep for a little bit. So I just woke up. Um, I've been awake for like an hour or two and I'm kind of like meh. So I'm thinking that I'm going to like do something nice for myself. Um, and I decided to do my makeup because I haven't done my makeup in like a hot minute. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go brush my teeth and wash my face. Uh, I have a little ick about brushing teeth on camera. Uh, also seeing people brush them te their teeth on camera. I think it's kind of nasty. Don't know why, but I just think it is. So I'm not going to put y'all through that. Um, I'm going to go do those things and then I will catch back up with y'all when I'm done. Okay. Okay. So my face is all washed and i'm gonna put my hair up well not really up up but i'm gonna put my hair out of my face and i can't find my other big scrunchie i'm not really sure where that went i was sleeping in bed one day wrapped up my, ha my hammer 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 time i have my hair wrapped up and ever since then i lost my scrunchie I love this thing. It doesn't do much for me because like, for me it's kind of pointless, maybe. Or I just don't know how to use it properly, but the whole point is to like, not have your hair get messed up. But my forehead sits, anyways, crescent moon. Okay, so I just washed my face. Um, I'm gonna put some toner on it by Good Molecules. Can you see it? But that's what it looks like. And I don't have like the little face patch things that you're supposed to use. And you're supposed to just like. <laughs> you're supposed to just slap your face. That's what it says. So it says pat, but slap just felt better. Sounds better. Okay. This is my makeup bag. Um, I'm gonna put on, I don't remember which one goes first, but I'm gonna put on Black Girl Sunscreen. Love this stuff, so good. And then I'm gonna put on the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I don't remember which one I put on first though. So I'm gonna put this one on first and it's gonna like squirt out. Oh, maybe not, but. I probably should go outside today because my pupils are not dilated, but. I love this stuff because it always makes me feel like I'm going to the beach and I've never worn sunscreen until everybody was like, y'all should be wearing sunscreen too. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know black people needed it. Honestly, I was grow up thinking that we didn't need it because, you know, I thought that's what the melanin stuff was for. But just because you have it doesn't mean you're exclu you're excused from it, excluded. I don't freaking know. Um, so there's that, <laughs> and then we're gonna do our. Okay, we're gonna do our moisturizing lotion and then after this i'm gonna go in with my primer or my setting spray this is a lot i don't need all of this so i'm gonna put it right there i also don't have a mirror so i'm just using my viewfinder i've never done this before like i've never done like a get ready with me it's not really a get ready with me Cause I'm not doing anything, but I've never done like a makeup anything before. But that is what it looks like currently. I need to put something on my lips. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. setting spray. Just to help set all that stuff we just put on our face. Wow, I look so patriotic right now. Okay, um, first thing first, I believe we have to do our, our eyebrows. So I'm just gonna like brush them up. 
I think. I don't really. It's been a minute, okay? I'm using my little mirror that's very crusty dusty. Um, I'm trying to do like a makeshift vanity, so. Um, basically, I found some questions on Pinterest um, to just like talk for like talking points. Um, and we're just gonna do that while I do my makeup. So, if you're into it, you're into it. If you're not, I understand, I get it. Everything isn't my shebang either. Hopefully my camera allows me to record all of this. Um, and if not, then I guess we'll just have multiple parts. But yeah. So I just put the NYX um, brow glue on it, on my eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna go in and like, I don't even know, this does not look good. that up did they look good they look fine okay so one of the questions is based on your daily routine where do you see yourself at in five years and low-key honestly I have no idea because mostly because um the number one thing that I wanted to do with my life I did it which was get my CDL and when I say that was the most, that was so stress inducing, like not just obviously it's like commercial driver's license, but driving an 18 wheeler is not for the weak. And the mindset that you literally have to be in to do that job, that career is like insane. Um, and honestly, truck drivers don't get enough credit. And I loved everything about trucking still. I just, it's just, I just don't think I'm that girl. Um, also just being away from like my fiance and family and stuff was hard and most of the time that I was on the truck it was just pitched like it was just silent and my trainer was just sitting in the the truck with me obviously he would sit in the passenger seat and we just wouldn't talk and I would talk and then the conversations would just end he would talk back but like the conversations wouldn't really go anywhere and so doing that every day for as long as I did it I was just like I can't I can't do this um so yeah that is what happened with that um i'm gonna put on my elf halo glow so back to the original question is where do i see myself in five years i have no idea i have no idea in the way the world is going right now i honestly don't know i i can't really answer that um also i just i just i don't it's not that i don't have I guess I don't have any more ambition in me. I don't have any more, like, I don't have any more goals, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't have any more of those things left. I did what I wanted to do. Um, I don't know if that's really, like, a bad thing or not, but that's just how I feel currently. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't have a five-year plan. Like, buying a house just seems out of the question um at least for me because i didn't i don't have i'm not an entrepreneur i'm not a successful entrepreneur i don't have a career i don't have a a high paying job i don't have any <laughs> i don't have any of the criteria <laughs> for buying a house and also i'm just still so young and buying a house first off i don't even know where i want to live i don't we don't even know where we're where we want to settle so i don't even know like how to answer that part of the question um and secondly second i don't like being in the city i'm not really in the city but this is basically the city and i don't like it that much it's not my favorite it's so loud i hate all the loudness and stuff it's overwhelming low-key um uh, it's like dang where can you go girl you got a problem with everything it's not even that i have a that's the glowy part of the makeup it's not that I have a problem with everything. It's just so loud. At least where I live right now. It is so loud. You would think I live on a drag strip. Like. I don't know if people are legit just taking mufflers off their car or not. But I just. I can't do the loudness. And it's just so loud over here. So that is one. And then the other is. House buying just seems kind of like out of question. Because the cost of living is mad expensive. Um. You might be saying, why are you putting it on your 
here. I don't remember why I did that. So don't ask. <laughs> um, but yeah, the cost of living is mad expensive. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that it's as expensive as it is. Um, and it's ridiculous. So it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, cost of living is expensive. We don't even know where we want to settle down at. Um, and the way things change, like career-wise, I might, I may go to school. I may not go to school. I don't know. I also thought about just going to college anyways, just to like go to college because it just seems like the right thing to do at this point. Um, but I don't want the debt of school and I know there's like grants and scholarships and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm just unmotivated. I think I'm just in a very unmotivated time in my life right now and I'm just like, Mm, I don't know. So honestly, that's how I think that's, I think that's what the problem is. Um, my eyes are leaking. I just put, which one did I put? I just put on the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. And yeah, um, so I really just, honestly, all that I really want out of my life is to be at peace and to not just be have my peace disturbed and I just want to be happy and whatever my idea of happiness is that's what I want for myself and my family um like as far as children go and stuff like no one's asked me personally if I wanted kids or not I don't know I'm like in the middle like if it happens cool if it doesn't that's okay too um I want to be somebody's godmother so freaking bad so that I can get the little, um, what is the word? Baby fever that I do have sometimes, like out of my system. Because the love that I have for my nieces and my nephews is unreal. And I just feel like, I don't even know if aunties can be godparents, so. Oh my gosh, I didn't put primer on y'all. Oh well. Um, but yeah, like the love that I have for my nieces and nephews is like unreal and I don't know if aunties can be godparents, but I just want to be somebody's godparent. That's why I thought like if I had a friend, it'd be easier because like if my friend got pregnant, I could be the godparent of their child, but I don't think that's how it works because you have to have friends. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, do I want kids? It is what it is. Like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Honestly, sometimes I think it is like kind of sad uh i don't even know honestly yeah i don't know because kids be bullying children nowadays and it's like real crazy and parents don't be parenting like at all they just be like that's just how my son is that's just how my daughter is and it's like no sweetie your child should not literally be making my kid's life like hell my child should not be living in fear every day that they go to school but some parents are just like that's just how that's just life they need to grow up okay they're in kindergarten <laughs> um so yeah i don't know if that answered that question and this is the other elf concealer and then i just put on la girl pro concealer under this for this yeah where else does this go i didn't do my eyebrows highlights but it's okay um yeah like this one this question says like what are your short-term goals i don't know i want to pay off bills <laughs> i want to see the uh, i want to see the i want to live to see more days i want to see i don't know i just want to see people happy and i want to see my nieces and nephews go to school and graduate and I don't want them to have like the pressure of I guess that's also why I should be like an entrepreneur or something but I literally have no idea what I'd be an entrepreneur in I have no idea and I don't want to be just selling anything and everything and then do y'all realize like marketing is not just that easy at least not in my opinion um and on top of that, like, I'm not that girl. I am not that girl. I'm literally just rambling. I'm just yapping. I'm just yapping and yap.
Like I thought about going to school to get my RN BS in, but that's intense and literally you the amount of money it takes to do that is like insane. And I don't have that. So maybe I'll just go to college for like business or communications or something. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe I'll take a bartender course and learn how to sweet talk people so they tip me more. I know that's not the brush for that, but this is how we're looking so far. Not too bad so far. Honestly, also the sun keeps going in and out. So like, I don't really know how much I look, like how crazy I look. Um, yeah. If you could have any career, what would it be and why? Like originally I wanted to go into the military. I was dead set on the military. It was either gonna be the Air Force or the Army. Boom, it said I was too big. Got it, cool. So then I was like, okay, I'll get my CDL. Okay, boom, got that. Um, and then after that happened, I was just like, <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now? So yeah, this is the infallible pro Met foundation. I know it's like you're using glowy and then you're putting Madeline. Yeah, I could just like go ahead and put on, um, oh, brick. I could just go ahead and put on my, what am I trying to say? Contour and uh, blush and stuff, but I'm just gonna put this on first. And also I put the concealer on so you can see like this little like definition line. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. Trusting a process that I don't remember how to do because it's been like a month, so. Yeah, it looks fine so far. Do I need to put it on my forehead? Mm. It should be fine. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. And I love engaging with people. I like talking to them. I really just like asking deeper thought questions. And I think that's a personality trait that I enjoy by myself, but also most people don't want to be asked like those type of questions oh my gosh yeah um i don't think most people want to be asked those type of questions because maybe they just feel like i'm intruding on their i don't know I don't know. I just think I haven't found my people yet. I just think I haven't found my people yet and that's really it. And sometimes I worry like, will I ever find my people? <laughs> and maybe I will, maybe I won't. I think everybody deserves to have a tribe at least. Or maybe not deserves, but I think everybody would like to have their own tribe. This is the e.l.f. Uh, contour.
Like, I don't know if I look any different, but. And then I'm gonna do my Juvia's Place uh, blush. It's in Lily Love. And you only need a little bit because it is very pigmented. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm literally using this brush for everything. And I don't think that's what this is for. Smile! Probably shouldn't have put that much on my eyelid. Low key look. I don't even know. I don't even know if you can tell a difference, honestly. But that is basically it. And then I'm gonna go in with my um, setting powder, my Revolution Translucent Setting Powder. And I am going to zibble and zapple real quick. It's like in my eyelids, it's burning my eyes. fun thing about makeup is that there aren't really any rules to it you can just do whatever your pretty little heart desires okay now my elf setting spray <laughs> and I'm gonna do lip liner and then I'm gonna mm, it needs to be And that is my finished product. I got a glowy face. Lips are dry, but I'm gonna put some stuff on them. And yeah. 
Looks like I have like a little swollen. That's so cute. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little yap session. I had fun. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, beautifuls. Mwah.